Hello, I'm Ivor Hall. I'm a biologist with the Idaho Department of Fish and Game, and today I'd like to talk a little bit about chronic wasting disease and how we are monitoring for it. So chronic wasting disease, or as it's better known, CWD, is a disease that can greatly reduce or eliminate populations of animals in the deer family. And to date, CWD has not been detected in the state of Idaho. However, it has been detected near Idaho's borders in Wyoming, Montana, and Utah. Our ability to detect and catch CWD early will be crucial in our plan to minimize its spread and keep healthy deer populations, which allow for continued hunting opportunities. For the last several years here in the Upper Snake region, we have been collecting CWD samples on the eastern border of our region in the Palisades, Island Park, and Caribou DAUs. For the 2020 hunting season, we are increasing our sample focus area to include all game management units within the Upper Snake with the exception of Unit 50 and Unit 63. We're also asking for sportsmen and women to help us collect samples. We will have these collection stations scattered throughout the region, as well as at our regional office in Idaho Falls. We're asking that sportsmen and women either deposit the head of their harvested mule deer in the blue tote here, or remove its lymph nodes and leave that sample in this can here. Now, these collection stations will be out during the general deer season from October 10th through the 24th, and hunters can leave samples there at any time. We are currently only asking for samples from mule deer, and we will gladly accept male or female samples. However, the animal does need to be an adult for us to get a meaningful sample. Now, if you choose to leave lymph nodes with us, um, they are located at the bottom of the jaw, and we will show you how to remove them now. Once you have determined the age of your animal using the aging guides that will be available at collection stations, the first step in collecting a CWD sample is to position your animal so that the head and neck are accessible to you. The next step in removing a lymph node sample is to first determine where the jaw is and then find the hard plate or cartilage that covers the voice box of your animal that is just below and towards the back side of the neck on the deer. Although we are using a white-tailed deer, for demonstration purposes here, at collection stations we are only interested in gaining samples from mule deer. Once you've determined the jawline of your animal and where the voice box is, you're ready to make your first cut, which will start at the throat and extend back along the jawline towards the ear. Once you've cut behind the jaw of your animal, all the way to the bone on the backside, exposing the windpipe. The lymph node samples will be located at 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock from the windpipe of your animal. An easy way to locate the lymph nodes of your animal is to feel in the tissue, and the lymph node will be firm and somewhat lumpy compared to the surrounding tissue. Once you have located the lymph node of your animal, simply cut away the surrounding tissue and remove the lymph node. Another way to tell if you've removed the lymph node of your animal and not surrounding tissue, besides it being firmer and lumpier than the surrounding tissue, you can simply cut into it and a lymph node will have a gray center compared to the surrounding tissue or a salivary gland that will have a white center. Once you have the lymph nodes of your animal removed, fill out the sample bag completely Remove the spare barcode sticker that you'll find in the bag and keep it so that you can track the results of your animal. Place the lymph nodes into the sample bag and then place the bag back into the ammo can where it came from. If you choose to leave us the head of your harvested mule deer instead of removing its lymph nodes, please leave four to six inches of neck still attached to the head. Cut a slit in the ear of the deer Fill out a head tag completely with all of your information and attach it through the slit in the ear securely. Then place the head into the blue collection barrel found at the collection sites. We will be collecting samples from our collection sites twice a week and sending them to a lab. It typically takes 30 days or more to get results back and we will notify you if your deer comes back as CWD positive. 
If you do not hear from us, it is safe to assume that your deer was CWD negative. For clarification on anything discussed here today, or further tutorials on how to remove lymph nodes, please visit our website. We would like to say thank you to the sportsmen and women who are helping us collect CWD samples. And finally, be safe and have fun while hunting this season.